Thomas, why? Father? No going back now. What should I do? <laughs> That's, uh... Oh! This is the way to the mansion. Right, now I can get across. Huh? What's this? Edward, the captain mentioned that name. Jessica, 
Hey! Oh, good. You're awake. Come feel the breeze. It's nice. Yeah, nice. What's wrong? Feeling seasick? Nah, I'm alright. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You had the dream again? Yeah. I don't know why I keep having it. It always ends the same. And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Don't rack your brain too hard. You were so little back then. Besides, you'll see him in person soon. So cheer up. I guess. Jessica is Dad's little sister. She's all the family I have left. She's raised me since I was little. And on a high school chem teacher's salary. Don't get me wrong, she's been really nice. She always considers what's best for me and helps me out when I need it. Now though, I don't know. Why did you never tell me dad was alive? Why have you been lying to me all this time? That's, I mean, I promised your dad. Promised him what? It was 11 years ago. Richard showed up one day, holding you. He just turned three. It was so sudden, I could tell something was wrong. He said, look after her. I'll be back for her someday. But until you hear from me again, it's best if you tell her I'm dead. Why would he say that? He didn't tell me. I bet he wanted nothing to do with me after mom died. No, it wasn't like that. Oh. My brother's a good man. Please trust that he had his reasons. He's not the kind of man who'd abandon his child if there was any other option. I remember the warmth in his eyes as he looked at you. When I saw that, I knew I had to take care of you until he came back home. I'm so sorry, Ashley. I wanted to tell you sooner. I received a package a few days ago. It didn't say who it was from. But there were two things inside. A letter from Dad, who I thought died when I was three and this strange device that looks like a game system. Now here I am, rereading the letter on a boat with my aunt, heading to Blood Edward Island, where my dad is supposed to be waiting. So, what was he like? My dad? Well, Richard is a brilliant neuroscientist. He was, is a neuroscientist? Like he studied brains? Yeah, and I bet he made that device he sent you. Really? He made this? Okay, that's kind of amazing. What exactly did he study? His focus was on memory. Memory. Huh. He worked for a leading neuroscience research center. Talented scientists from all over the world came together there. He met a scientist from Japan, and they fell in love. Before long, they got married. You're talking about... Right. Sayoko. She was your mother. So, 
dad sent me this. It says D-A-S. Das? What do you think that stands for? Dunno. What's this camera icon? Huh. It works. <laughs> now how do I look at the picture I took? Not bad. Could you take one of me next? Sorry, but no. You're the only one who can use that thing. What? Why? I had spent some time fiddling with it after it arrived. Seems like it's keyed to your genetic data using biometrics. 